Yes, Danny. Preparing for Easter Sunday. Yeah. I told them to go buy some grilling food. So we can enjoy. And limpo. And you got the stuff to make my mango float. Yeah, like what you said. Yeah, you got some good ripe ones, huh? Yeah, grams. Condensed milk, and then I asked her if she would make a macaroni salad. She got everything here for that. Man, looks good. What's that to mix fruit for it? Yes, for macaroni salad. Beyond. Beyond for tomorrow. Mm. Beyond. The butcher. Who's that? <laughs> they eat the rest of my pork, though. Some of my pork. He stole some? Yeah, this one year, that, the one that I marinated. I told you, don't leave nothing setting well, down. No, it's because I, I went because to market. you and forget. I... Just say it. You know, they, they, they say the first thing to recovery is admitting. So, admit. Marlon just look, too. just look and say, I'm Melinda and I have memory gap. Marlon, so no, oh, 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 oh. Look, just look and say, I'm Melinda and I have memory gap. I'm Melinda and I remember everything. <laughs> <laughs> My mind is sharp and no dementia. I'm is still, that truth? I'm still remember, James. Huh? You still remember me? That's yeah. that's all that matters right there. That's all that matters. Then your memory's still good. Dog day afternoon. Babe, I want to put my plant back out in the sunshine. That's why it's not blooming here no more. It don't have my special love and care after you moved it. I'm going to put it back. It always stay beautiful and blooming. I gave it daily care. And you put it in the shade. Good morning, everybody, here from the Philippines. Been showing them the purpose of the notch trial, why it has notches to let it, let the air and air pockets and all out. And, yeah, just start at that tile right there. Start there. Yeah. We'll leave a gap there right now. Yeah, we'll start at that one there. Yeah, yeah, just touch that. Mm. Put those nails in there with those other nails in the CR there.
one is a light color huh? and this one is the this is the dark one there. It kind of mix around. Well, it's almost the end of another work day. I was shocked that we actually worked today. This is a Saturday between Good Friday and Easter. But uh, sure enough, man, Mock Mock, Ambin, Marvin, Marlon, Miller. Miller worked half day. They all come through for me. And we got some pretty good work done today. Um, did you go fishing this morning, Miller? Yeah. Did you catch anything? What'd you get? Uh, 600 uh, today, bro. Uh, sale, sale, bro. You sold 620 pesos worth of fish? Yeah. What kind of fish was it? Uh, what do you, what do you call that? Uh, in the Filipino name, the uh, Dalinuan. Ah. Dalinuan. The small fish. The small yeah. fish. Yeah. But still, you did good, though. Yeah. But in your, yesterday, bro, 1,050. Oh, that's good. So the reason he's working half day is he can go fish. I mean, that's good money he needs for his family, you know? Yeah. And so that those fish are going to bring him more than he's getting paid working here all day. <laughs> it's just the truth. And so we understand that. So he goes fishing and then in the in the morning and then the, after lunch, his rest is days free. So if he can put in a half day here too, uh, that money really helps. And it helps with, you know, he's got two kids to take care of. So... Uh, we understand we haven't been saying nothing to him on that. Just let it be because, uh, you know, you got to do what you got to do, right? But it's good that he's catching some. It's been a little bit of good season. I've been seeing a lot of good fish coming in right now. A lot of the boats have been catching some good fish. Um, so anyway, that's what the story is for today. And uh, I really have just enjoyed today, man. I tell you what, it's been a good day for me. Um, there's been some tension going on here with one of the workers that's no longer here anymore. Man, he just, uh, all through this bill, on and off, we've had problems out of him. He's a, he's a good craftsman. He really is. But he's, uh, when he don't know how to do something or if he is doing something wrong, and you say something to him like, hey, that ain't right or this and that. He takes it so on the chin. You can say it as nice and sweet and sugary as you want to, which I hate doing. And uh, he will get tampo like crazy for the most mild thing. Like, hey, man, that's crooked. Or, hey, man, that's not how I wanted it cut. You got to cut it over here like this. And... Uh, Oh. and you can't say it nice enough and it's still offended so nevertheless uh, it's really a lot of dissension going on once again uh, with him it, he wasn't here once before on the bill and we actually asked him to come back because he can do some pretty darn good work I'll tell you the truth he can but something that he does mess up on and you point out to him he gets so upset just like you just really whooped him down you know i don't understand it but um uh, so insignificant minor things minor minor but nevertheless uh that that problem is gone and it's sad and it's sad for him you know because uh i was going to get out a good bonus to the ones that was here with me and stuck this build all the way through and all he did is cheat himself out of a really good bonus by acting like that. You know, it's, it's a shame. But the others, the others aren't acting like that. 
and actually it seems like there's a lot less tension here today uh, it's been a really good day as far as I can tell what you looking for baby I'm gonna get the money are yeah. oh, you looking for my keys yes. all right it's a worker down but when the workers not doing this particular job correct and you're having to go back and correct it and correct it and there's stuff that's already done that you now that you can't correct and you can't correct him without tempo what do you do you're better off without him at this point anyway the rest of the workers didn't feel that way and actually they all defended me i guess he thought that they would join in with him and say oh yeah you know that can know this and that but no they didn't they're like you know even his own brother said you know uh, I think he has a right to complain. It's his house, and if something's not being done right, uh, just do it right. And I think that got him even more because nobody defended him. They only defended me, and uh, which embarrassed him even more. It's a shame. It's, it's drama, man. I tell you, y'all don't know what all I deal with here. And uh, that's why it's been a week without shaving. <sighs> but today's been a good day. It's like that, that stress is gone, you know? And I, I know how I want things, and I wanna be able to tell somebody something and correct them without them being so sensitive, man. It's just unbelievable. Well, the guys that's here right now, they're not sensitive like that. In fact, they love to learn. And today I've been teaching them. I've been teaching them the proper way of using um, the best I can um, of that notch trowel and explaining to them why those notches are in the trowel. The bigger the tile, the bigger the notches. The smaller the tile, smaller the notches. And it's to let air and I'll get out of there. Like you get an air pocket trap, a little moisture trap, and it can't, can't get out. And then all of those little places you spread out those grooves with the trowel, when you put that down, they have somewhere to go float down smash out and get a solid coverage as well so it leaves channels for the air to go out moisture to go out and for it to have some place to spread and sit down like when you tap that and then you get a good solid coverage now as explained to them you know if you run your notches on your uh, tile one direction and you run your notches on your mud another direction now you create it little squares you create it like uh, you know kind of like a waffle iron, you know, but worse, or like a honeycomb. Now they can't get out again. So I showed them to run the notches all the same way, lay it down, hit it, and it'll just lay right in. Man, when I showed them that, and I stopped everybody teaching them that, and to do it on the floor, do it on the back of the tile, and put that down, man, that it'll just set right in. Once I showed them that, man, the speed of the tile work went way up. Hey bro, take a nail and clean this right here real quick. Wipe that, wipe that out right there and right here. So where we have to put the grout, see that one in there? Just clean it out with a nail real quick. If you've watched the video of the day, um, I know I just I share things, I tell the truth, I keep it real, I'm not trying to beat nobody up or be negative or anything like that. I just I tell the truth so that if you're going into a build and many of you write me constantly in the comments telling me, hey, we're going to be starting our build and we're going to be starting our build and we're planning on building and you know, a lot of you are watching the channel because you're looking for um, what to expect and you're looking for prices and building techniques and things like that. And you're probably watching other channels as well. And some people are probably a little bit more nervous to keep it real and tell the truth um, as I tell the truth sometimes. Um, and so, you know, we're happy here. We're happy. We're happy with the build. We're happy with our crew. Um, the good people, I appreciate them very much for what they've done building this house with me. But you're going to run into things that sometimes you just need to let people know so they know how to handle it when it comes their way. But screaming and yelling, that ain't going to be no way. So don't ever do that. And uh, it could have blowbacks on you as well. 
just keep it nice keep it cordial and um, and if you just can't see eye to eye someone just move on with them don't don't get crazy with them don't say crazy things just move on there's somebody else out there that you're gonna jive with that you're gonna get along with and uh, move on to that person and that's some advice I can give you right there for sure don't just don't just settle uh, if you're not happy with what's going on you're the one spending the money and you're the one with the power to change it so just change it everybody take care god bless and we'll see you on the next one